Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wives For You channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Fans of Sister Wives have recently drawn attention to the show's contradictions, which suggests that the Browns have been lying at various points. The major lies told by the Brown family are being noticed and exposed by some fans. Certain things that the Brown family had spoken about Sister Wives in the past are forgotten. Many viewers of Sister Wives have seen the family change over time. Unquestionably, during the course of the show's 18 seasons, they have changed their positions on a number of important issues. The Browns find it challenging to follow up with what they say while recording since there are so many moving parts. Fans are now revealing instances in which the family was found to be lying. There are unquestionably almost too many to count. Fans of Sister Wives call out and denounce Brown's family's stupidities. Fans of Sister Wives engaged in a discussion about the show's falsehoods on Reddit. Let's expose the gaps in their statements, exclaims the first user. One of my favorite things to do is to use facts or observations seen on the show to disprove lies they told. They continue. Which ones are some of your top picks? Additionally, the user opens the post with a few of their favorite revelations from the family members who have come out as themselves over time. They go on, I admire Robin's assertion that she never took the personality test, but I also often complain about Cody's explanations for leaving Christine during labor and why it was only to see Robin. The latest one I heard during my current pre-watch is Kobe saying you shouldn't be sexually active if you don't love someone, but later claiming he never loved the OG3. Janelle and Mary also seem to be suggesting they had no problems with their bedroom activities. During the lookbacks, some incidents were revealed in which Cody, Mary, Janelle, Christine, and Robin Brown had to compare their prior reactions to their current positions on a wide range of subjects. Fans provide additional time examples. The Browns were found lying. Many more fans responded to the original Redditor's post with additional examples they could think of from the past. Robin's statement that she designs jewelry. I don't feel loved, Kobe. Cody, I would prefer to be respected rather than loved. Robin was really worried that Janelle's matching clothing wouldn't arrive before the race, and when it did arrive at the last minute, it was a smaller size than they had purchased. Robin expressed her disappointment and apologized that Janelle wouldn't fit in with the family. When Janelle tried the clothing on, it fit her pretty well. Robin was then somewhat let down. The spouses in the latter seasons claimed that they never agreed to patriarchy, but in the earlier seasons, they discuss how they did agree to patriarchy in full. They may have even mentioned it in their TV interview, I believe. As another person notes, Cody stated that they made the show in order to challenge the patriarchal stereotype. Robin Brown's estate. A few viewers of Sister Wives still recall Robin Brown's exaggerated demands when it came to locating a property. Robin doesn't want to buy a home, but she can't give up on the unachievable conditions of renting, so she needs to purchase a mansion. A dignified family might produce while renting in order to accumulate funds for a down payment on a home. R and C never intended to construct a home alongside the family. Another person elaborates on Robin Brown's expectations regarding her rental, said, I've reached that stage of my rewatch as well. She desires a rental with seven bedrooms. Why are there seven bedrooms? Maybe six or seven, if they add a nanny. The girls and the small ones could both double up, just like in the other households. Maximum of four bedrooms. May I say something? Cody mentioned in a previous season that families similar to theirs always had children sharing a bedroom. However, Robin wouldn't let any of her children share a room after that. When Robin during the one home discussion says that any of the wives and even Cody can leave the relationship at any time and shouldn't have to stay and feel trapped in their marriage, even though she knows Cody will never want to be with her again, she is enraged when Christine departs and won't let Mary go. As long as they continue to deposit money into their bank account, they are free to depart. Viewers of Sister Wives recall a sad experience. 
Many of the family members and sister wives were at odds with one another as COVID-19, particularly Cody, who didn't like that Gabe and Garrison Brown weren't abiding by the rules. Fans Cody recall says. a really sad and difficult to see incident that happened during that period. Cody saying they never forget a birthday, a viewer recalls. However, Gabe Brown's was overlooked. Same, I always cry when I see that scene, says an additional viewer. All he needed was for his father to realize how much he had harmed him, but Cody is too proud to say sorry to his children. After what transpired with Garrison, I hope he has taken some time to reflect on his life and has begun to heal his connections with his children. Fans of Sister Wise talk about the Browns' financial choices. Fans of Sister Wise also remember Janelle Brown stating that she owned her own money. Janelle at the panel slash debate stating she doesn't share and has her own bank account. Cody claims that he withdrew money from his 400 and on K to help them get by while they were in Vegas. They talk about how they are not a one-income family and that they are all looking for work. Can you guess who hasn't worked outside the home in 18 seasons? They repeatedly misrepresented their dire financial situation. What impoverished person can afford to move, have regular professional photos taken, own 8 million watches, launch a jewelry company, etc., etc., a museum? Seeing them pretend like they don't have the TLC money is probably necessary, but it was always so annoying. What are your thoughts on the assertions made by Sister Wise viewers? While viewing the episode, have you observed any other inconsistencies? Are you eager to watch the upcoming season? Please share your thoughts the in the comments section. Sister Wise Christine and Cody Brown, Gwendolyn Brown, married Beatrice Queros on Saturday, although Cody and his lone surviving wife, Robin, didn't seem to be present. Kay Brown, my Kelsey patron, Gwen's sister, congratulated the newlyweds on Instagram on Sunday, writing, What a wonderful night with family. I'm so delighted to be celebrating the two of you and your amazing path together. Hashtag they got fitched. Hashtag married 2023. Hashtag so happy for them. Hashtag they kissed a girl and they liked it. Brown, Gwendolyn. Michael T shared pictures of the happy couple with their extended clan, showing them enjoying themselves. Janelle Brown, along with several of her children, attended the ceremony, as did Christine and her fiancé, David Woolley. Mary Brown shared a picture of herself with her sole child, Leon, who was once Maria, earlier in the day, but she was not in the group shot. Brown, Gwendolyn, the family photo conspicuously lacked Cody, 54, Robin, 44, and their five children, as well as Gwen's brother, Pyden Brown, with whom she has had a tense relationship for years. Brown, Gwendolyn, the TLC polygamist had stated months prior that he would not be escorting Gwen, 21, down the aisle on her wedding day. During a YouTube queue and a in April, she stated, I was thinking of just walking down the aisle, but now that I'm actually thinking about it, that's actually kind of adorable. I will definitely give it some thought, as having my brother is adorable. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.